name is Tina Irvin and I have been coming to Life Church since 2004. At that time I was not saved though. I had stepping away from God big time and I was disobeying in every kind of way. My family started coming here first and they had invited me but I was really reluctant to come. But finally one Sunday I decided to come and the sermon was amazing and awesome. And afterwards, Pastor Terry personally came down and introduced himself, and then he prayed with me. And at that moment, I knew something was about to change in my life. I knew I was about to go to the, a whole nother place that I'd never been before. I went home that day and I realized that I was where I was not supposed to be, where God didn't want me to be. So I came back, I moved out, went back home, and I started coming to Life Church. It was a slow process, a slow growth. I eventually got to a point where I was able to open up more to other fellow Christians in the church. I met my husband here, and for a brief moment, we did have to leave to go to Colorado because of military lifestyle. But when it's one time was our time was up over there, we were able to come back home and right away just flow back into our home church here. And since then, I have been minister to in so many ways, not only by our pastor, but by the congregation itself, from friendships to just one-on-one -on -one from mentors as well. And that's where I started realizing I was receiving and getting a, a lot of word fed into me that it was time for me to take the next step. And that's when I decided to become part of the mentor program and also part of the small life groups. And that has really blessed me in so many ways. I have not only been able just to have one-on-one -on -one moments with other Christian believers and encourage, but get together on a, on a in my home, in my atmosphere, and just continue to share and help each other grow in the Word of God. Hi, my name is Jeanette and I've been attending Life Church since 2012. For years, I had not been a follower of Christ. I considered myself a believer, but I did not have a relationship with the Lord. At one point, someone I worked with spoke to me about Jesus. And over time, she planted a seed in my heart, which created a new spark to want to know more about God. After attending my first service here at Life Church, I knew that Re reconciliation with God needed to take place in order for me to have a true relationship with Him. I learned after time that being a true believer and having a relationship with Christ meant I had to make time for Him and be available to Him, which was not something that came naturally to me. So in order to grow and mature in my faith, I had to move and get out of my comfort zone. I had to put forth the effort to not only read and learn the Word of God, spend time in prayer, incorporate fasting with prayer, and getting connected in my church, but I also needed to pray with others and not just for them. I had to learn how to allow God to be in control. I had to make changes in my life so that God can move in my life, which led God to opening my heart and allowing Him to use me to reach others. And I later, I later became a youth leader in our For Life youth ministry. After being a part of our youth ministry, I prayed for God to use me in more ways to further my walk with Him. I was limiting myself of how God could use me to reach others outside of the youth ministry. I felt that God was calling me to minister to others, but I didn't know how to take the next step. It was after our Expect the Unexpected series that God placed a desire in my heart to serve at the altar. I struggled with whether I could do it. The enemy tried to tell me I wasn't good enough or qualified to be an altar worker. I realized quickly that God doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies the called. I wanted to grow more in Christ, and in order for me to do so, I needed to be obedient. So I would have never known if I could have done what God asked of me if I hadn't tried and obeyed his call. Now, this coming September will make one year that I have served as an altar worker. My journey hasn't ended. I continue to allow myself to grow and be used by God, and I strive to incorporate him in all aspects of my daily life. I hope that my experience has helped you open your heart to maturing and growing in your faith and your relationship with God. Thank you, Life Church.